So here we have a problem that says, find the exact value of sine of pi over 12 by using a sum or difference formula. So first of all, since it's sine of an angle, I'm going to start by writing the sine sum and difference formula, which is sine of x plus or minus y, oops, plus or minus y, is equal to sine of x sine of x cos of y plus or minus cos of x. I didn't leave myself enough room. One second. Cos of x sine of y. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to break this angle of pi over 12 up into two angles that we can find on the unit circle. So since we need to find angles on the unit circle, let's draw a little piece of the unit circle. So this is zero, then the first angle on the unit circle is pi over six, and then we have pi over four and then pi over three before we get to pi over two. Since we're looking for pi over 12, that is an angle that is smaller than pi over six, because remember a fraction, a bigger denominator means a smaller fraction. So this pi over six will be smaller, sorry, pi over 12 will be smaller than pi over six. So in order to get an angle that's smaller than pi over 6, let's do a bigger angle minus a smaller angle because we, we want it to be a positive answer. So we can first test by doing like pi over 4 minus pi over 6. If that's not the right answer, we could try subtracting two other things. But let's start by doing pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So pi over 4 to subtract pi over 6 to check to see if that's equal to pi over 12, we need to find a common denominator. And both four, both four and six have a multiple that is 12, because if we multiply four by three, we get 12. And if we multiply six by two, we get 12. So then to do the same thing to the numerators, this gives us three pi over 12 minus 2 pi over 12, which if we subtract 3 pi minus 2 pi makes 1 pi, or just pi, and the denominator stays the same, so that would be 12. So look at that. We just got pi over 12 by using pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So that means that we can write sine of pi over 12, we can rewrite that as sine of pi over 4 minus pi over 6. Cool. So using our formula, that means that pi over 4 is x and pi over 6 is y, and we're using the minus option. So since we're using the minus option and that's on the bottom, our formula will also have a minus in it because that's on the bottom. So we'll simplify this to sine of pi over 4 times cos of pi over 6 minus cos of pi over 4 sine of pi over 6. So now we can evaluate this using the unit circle since on the unit circle the y coordinate of the unit circle is sine and the x coordinate of the unit circle is cosine. So looking at my unit circle, I grab sine of pi over four, that is the y coordinate is square root two over two. And the x coordinate at pi over six, which will give me the cosine is square root three over two minus cosine of pi over 4, the x coordinate at pi over 4 is square root 2 over 2, and
and sine of pi over 6, I look at pi over 6 and I grab the y coordinate, that gives me 1 over 2. So simplifying, square root 2 times square root 3 is square root 6 divided by 2 times 2 is 4 minus square root 2 times 1 is square root 2 over 2 times 2 which is 4 and then we have common denominators so we can subtract our numerators to give us square root 6 minus square root 2 over 4 which is our final answer because the square root 6 doesn't have any factors that could come out neither does square root 2. So I hope this question was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody that you think might find this information helpful. Also, check down in the description for information about how you can contact me for um, questions on future videos or any comments that you have in um, for this, or excuse me, any questions that you have on this video. Also, I have information about tutoring and uh, online tutoring and the ways that I do that in the description as well. Thanks for watching.